Hello, I'm James Van Oppen and it's a glorious day in Nottinghamshire. When we're navigating, we need to be very aware of the distance. We need to know how far it is to the destination that we're walking to and we also need to know how far along that route we've already walked. Okay, so estimating how far we've got to travel on the map, there's a couple of ways. Uh, say we wanted to travel along this green route here, this bridleway. We could either just estimate the distance based on the fact that each of these grid squares is one kilometre distance. We can just estimate that that's going to be around about half a kilometre, half a grid square. To be slightly more accurate, we can use a piece of string um, or the edge of a piece of paper to draw around the edge of the route. Line it up to the edge of a grid square and we can tell that that's actually more likely 600 metres. There are two main ways that we can tell accurately how far we've travelled along a route. Uh, the first of these is pacing, so you need to know how many steps you take to walk 100 metres on uh, flat ground. And you could measure this out using a football pitch, a tennis court, um, or you could lay out a, a piece of 25 metre rope and times it by four, or any, any known distance that you can multiply up to 100 metres. Every time then you count to uh, that number of paces, say uh, 70 or 65, something like that, every time you count to that number of paces, uh, you know you've travelled 100 metres and then you can bracket that up until your known distance. Now the other way that we can tell exactly how far we've travelled along our route is by timing it. Now we can employ something called Naismith's rule here, which says that you travel 5 kilometres every hour when you're walking on the flat. Doing the maths, that works out as 70 seconds per 100 metres that you travel. What you then add on in Naismith's rule is an extra minute per 10 metres that you climb. So every contour line that you, you cross going upwards, you add an extra minute. So it's 70 seconds per 100 metres, plus an extra minute per contour line that you go up. So just to prove to you that these pacing and timing techniques do work, I'm going to walk a short route. So this corner in the track that I'm on um, is this corner here, that's where I'm stood right now. And I'm going to walk along the bridleway until I get to the edge of West League Hills, the woodland here. Um, so there'll be a track junction and a small building. So first of all I need to estimate that distance. with that along the grid square then. Um, estimate that, to, let's say that's probably about 700 metres. So I need to count to 64 paces seven times and that'll take me up to 700 metres. Timing wise, well, we said 70 seconds is how long it takes us to walk 100 metres. So that's one minute and 10 seconds. So to walk 700 metres, it's going to be eight minutes and 10 seconds. Remember then we have to add the number of contours that we cross. So it's 8 minutes and 10 seconds, 9 minutes and 10 seconds, 10 minutes and 10 seconds till we get there. Okay, so I've got to count to 64 paces seven times and I'm going to look for 10 minutes and 10 seconds and if it goes beyond that I've gone too far. So let's start the clock then and we'll see you when we get there. So as I'm walking along then, every time my left foot touches the ground, I count that as one pace. So it's one, two, three, four. Every time I get up to 64, I'm going to put one finger up in my pocket or I'll move a stone from one pocket to the other so that I can keep track of how many times I've hit 100 metres. Okay, so this then is the building that was marked on the map. Uh, not much of a building, but hey well. So we'll stop the clock. Now I counted to 64 six times, and then I counted to 30 again. So actually the distance was 650 metres, and not quite the 700 that I had estimated. So uh, overestimated on the map slightly, but hey, within 10% uh, within isn't bad. So let's look at the time then, and looking at the time, uh, it's just under nine minutes, isn't it? So again, one minute out, which means the contours weren't quite as um, challenging as expected. Now, over time, you do tend to work out how fast you walk on different types of terrain, and you can narrow down Naismith's rule to suit your particular walking style. So I hope that uh, quick tutorial on distances was helpful. Uh, it's lunchtime, so that's all for this week. Bye-bye.